I'm going to do a twice-baked souffle, Gruyere souffle, so very, very French. So Gruyere cheese, nice strong cheese. Beautiful. We're going to finish it off uh, with a Gruyere and cream sauce and a lovely hazelnut salad on top. OK, sounds good. Mm. Fantastic. We're going to crack on. George, I'll leave you to it. I'm going to come back and try some go. cheesy goodness. <laughs> go. Right. Lucas. So first thing we need to do is get the bechamel on. So okay. Bechamel being a white sauce. Yep. So the white sauce is the basis for the souffle, yep? Yeah? Yes, it is. It's and a... this is a pudding souffle. It is. A pudding souffle is actually twice baked, so it's twice cooked. And the reason it'll come back up is the fact that it's slightly heavier. You know, the batter or the base is slightly heavier. So the bechamel, that's bechamel. the base. That's the base, okay. and we're going to flavour it with some shallots and thyme. Do a little bit of butter in the pan. Put the rest of the butter in here, which is about 35 grams. OK. Uh, and I put that in with the flour. 35 grams of butter and about the same of flour for your base. Put a little bit of oil in there as well, just to wet it. Okay. So what we're doing here is we're putting the butter and the flour together, uh, make a white roux. Yep. And what we're looking for when you make a white roux is you're looking for that little white taint on the flour. So if you flip a little bit over, you can just see that. Yep, there see, we go. See, you can see that little white taint. That's what you're looking for, and that's telling you that it's starting to cook the flour out, starting to change in character. So that's, that looks perfect, yeah? It's ready to go. That's great. So we're going to grab some milk. And I've got 300 mils. I'm going to put 250 in. OK. So easy. you mix that off the heat? I do, just so it doesn't keep cooking and so I can get the texture right. Right, OK. And the texture being nice and smooth and, yes. and creamy in consistency. And those shallots, you're just going to cook until they're translucent, which they're getting now. close to it. So a little bit see-through. So we'll just take those off. Yep. Just a little bit at a time with this until it starts to become soft. So basically, you're beating out the, the lumps. Right. So you put that back on the heat now. Yep. You've got about 50 mils left. So I'd that's say your we're going to need that. Margin. I actually like to use a. Are you using a spoon now? Yep. Just at the end. Okay. Yep. You can see it thickening up. Lovely. We've so got in goes the cheese. 45 grams so of cheese. So 45 grams of Gruyere cheese, which you've grated. Yep. And you stir to incorporate, I presume? Yes. Basically just dissolves into it. Gives it a lovely cheesy lovely. flavour. So this is the shallots and the thyme. Yep. Now we need to blend that, do we? Yes. Until it's smooth? Yes. So do you want yep. to put a bit of oil in there or one of the egg yolks or the egg yolks? Yeah, we'll put half... We'll put an egg yolk in there yep. just to help it Spin. blend. Okay. We'll go from there. Now, this shallot and yolk mixture goes in? Yes, it does. All of that? Yeah, put it all in. And at this point, too, we can put a bit of um, the other egg yolk in, yes? Yeah, which is this one. Adds creaminess. And then what, what that, that does is, is enrich in the mixture. So we just grate a little bit of nutmeg in there and we season as well. So a bit I, of salt. How's uh, that taste? How's it good? Is it good? Mm, it's good. What does it taste of? Well, you've got lovely thyme and cheese, yeah. mainly. And we're very um, velvety kind of... Uh, sauce to go yeah, with it. Nice. Gutsy sauce. Yeah, absolutely. Right, let's yeah. bung that in there. And um, you're going to cool that down now, just yeah. a little bit, because now you need to add the egg whites. Is yes. that right? Yes. We've got three egg whites we just put into a bowl. OK. Pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. Yep. does go well, because we love our salt. The, the other thing that salt does is it, it helps stabilise the proteins in the egg white. So we use sugar or salt or cream of tartar. They all do pretty much the same thing. So off you go. Whisk away. Notice as well that you've got some... Buttered moulds yes. for the souffle. Oh, and it's important that you butter these moulds well yep. because obviously if you don't, it doesn't allow the souffle to rise inside the mould. What else goes in there? Because you've got something else in there. Flour. Dust a little bit of flour. Just, which helps it lubricate it. This isn't far away, actually. OK. What do you think? Soft peak we're looking for on yep. the egg whites. It's, it's beautiful. It's perfect. Put a third in. Third in, mix which, it into a, into a batter. Chill. Yep. The general rule of thumb is incorporate this first third in any way you can, but it doesn't really matter. It's softening the batter to, to take the next two thirds, which should be folded in really, really gently. Yep. Let's, let's make sure we get all of that egg white in there. Right, so I'm folding this in, and you can see what I'm doing is I turn the bowl and I go round from sort of nine o'clock to three o'clock, and then I lift and I tip the mixture over onto itself, right? And every so often, you can have a little bit of a stir around to, to incorporate. It's quite a thick mixture or batter, that bechamel. Happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right. So we're going to put these into the moulds? Yes. All right. Off you go. And we're two-thirds. So two-thirds full. Allows the mixture to rise. We just 
Beautiful. And you're being careful not to splash that on the sides? Yeah. You don't Why wanna... is that? Well, if it catches on the sides, it'll stop it rising. Right. And you'll find that if you, you know, you're cooking your souffle and a little bit's caught here, it'll rise this way because it's holding the souffle here and it can only go one way and it's expand and so it flips over. So what are you tapping that for? Uh, to get all the air pockets out. Because right. if you get little air pockets, one will rise, one right. won't. Right, okay. So. so these go in the oven like that, do they? Uh, no. no. We, we put... Ah. A bain-marie. A bain-marie. Yes. Which is a water bath. Yes. OK. So you're going to put hot water in there? I am. All right. Which and the reason we do that, what's that, Lucas? It just controls the heat. OK. So that goes in the oven? Yeah, for around 20, 25 minutes. OK. At, um... What temperature is that? 160, we put it in. Off you go. From there, we take them out and we cool them in the fridge. OK, lovely, great. So Lucas's twice baked souffles have baked their first time. They've been in the oven for 20 minutes. We've taken them out and we've popped them in the fridge to cool down. So we're ready for the next phase, which is the second baking. Yep. All right. So what do we cool these down? It's easy to manage, okay. basically. And also we put cheese back on top. Right. So are you turning it out onto the grease proof here? Is that yes. what you're doing? Upside okay. down. So they should just pop, just like so. What you find is when you've got something in a mould like that, rather than putting a knife in, if you just tease it from around the outside, it's basically the air that's sucking it to the bottom there. So you then shake it and it'll pop out. <clears throat> Perfect. And these are quite dense. They are. You think, is that going to go back up? Is that going to rise again? Yes, it is. But basically, when you bake it, it's going to go nice and crisp and, and fluffy, Absolutely. light. OK, show us what to do next. We put the cheese on top of the okay. souffle. So, more gruyere? More gruyere. This will give it a lovely little So, you're just crust. baking them like that. They go straight into the oven. Absolutely. Like that. OK, yep. fantastic. No cream, no nothing on no, them. Nothing. All right. Pop it in the oven. What temperature is the oven? 180. 180? 180. How long? Uh, five to seven minutes. Five to seven minutes. Come on, then. Let's rock on. While we're doing that, we're going to make the sauce. Which How do we do that? Really simple. It's just two parts milk to yep. gruyere. So 75 mils of milk and 35 grams of, of gruyere cheese. cheese. Yep. Up, up to the boil or? I oh, just look to where just it Just to blend. blend. Just to season that as well? Yes. Vinaigrette next. Yep. Now that your cheese sauce is done for the twice baked cheese souffle. Yes. Right. Whisk, bowl. Yeah. What have you got here? Basic French vinaigrette. We're going to have a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Yep. How much of the vinegar? About a tablespoon. And basically to three, four parts oil to that, so four tablespoons. So one part vinegar, four yep. parts oil. A little bit of pepper and salt. This is a simple French vinaigrette to go with the salad that yep. you're going to make from these little celery shoots and mustard leaves, yeah? Yep. So you whisk it, whisk it in so it's emulsified. Yep. That's great. There we go. Does that look good to you? Yeah, it looks, looks the same as Manu's? Yeah. What next? Well, we basically just cut some of these off. How would you like them cut? Sort of long like that? Yeah, that's good. And maybe just... A little oh, bit of the that mustard and cress. A quarter of those. So a little bit of the, the cress leaves, yep. little mustard and cress leaves. And these are like, just like little baby salad leaves. So you could use any sort of baby salad leaves, right? Yeah, exactly. Is that enough? Yeah, I think that's plenty. What else are you putting in there? Five or six roasted hazelnuts. You've taken the skins off these. How did you do that? You've got to roast them first. Yep. And then you literally put them in to some paper, yep. rub them, and it just comes off. OK, lovely. It's easy, nice and yeah. easy, isn't it? Yeah. So we won't dress that yet, do okay. that last minute. Last minute. And why last minute? Because it wilts. It basically... It'll wilt the, yeah. the herbs. The, the herbs, the herbs will, will just sink and you won't get the presentation. Okay, super. So we're nearly there. Nearly there. Basically, grab a spatula and get it ready. You can see they're just wobbling a little bit. Let's put, pop them on here. Oh, look at those, beautiful. They look lovely. They look like little scones, actually. Yeah, so we put it on the plate first. Nice and, and a little central. bit of dressing. Onto the salad? Uh, yes, just a tiny little bit. Yeah. Teaspoon, really. Yeah. Mix it with my fingers. Yes, please. You just make a little puddle here and... Oh, oh. lovely. It's beautiful. And then we just create some height. Right, so you're turning it around and... Yep. ..putting it into a little peak and then popping all those lovely herbs on top. Exactly, and you can... Drop a few hazelnuts around the outside. How lovely. It's a twice-baked Gruyere souffle yep. from the Toile okay. uh, under Manu Fidel. Beautiful. Looks absolutely fantastic, Lucas. Thank you so much for showing us that. You impressed? Yeah. There we go.